After Life of the Party is my kind of film. If you say to me, here is a film about somebody who has died and has to communicate with those on earth to try and right their wrongs, you will have my attention 100%. I'm very particular with what I like about these films. And I have to say, despite some of the reviews, After Life of the Party ticked pretty much every box for me. This was released this year in 2021 and is directed by Stephen Herrick, written by Carrie Friedel, and stars Victoria Justice as Cassie. Victoria Justice, obviously a big name, very well-respected actor. Her roles in Victoria's and Zoe 101 and things bypassed me. I was slightly older when they came out, so I don't have that emotional connection or that childhood nostalgia to her early work. So for me... I was looking at this with no expectations, no idea of what I would feel or how I would react to the casting or the characters. And I am so, so relieved that it went really well. It is a comedy, but, you know, it gets a little bit emotional. And there's, there's, well, I will say the father character did bring tears to my eyes on more than one occasion. So it does get a little bit emotional and a little bit intense. But for the most part, it's it's quite an easy watch. So Victoria Justice plays our protagonist, Cassie, who dies within maybe the first 15, 20 minutes. I wasn't clock watching. I didn't clock watch at all. It's very captivating. Time went really quickly. And considering it's nearly two hours, pretty impressed by that. I won't say how she dies. I'm always really impressed Um when they make somebody die in a way that I wasn't expecting with these kinds of films. And I have to say, the death scene is... I mean, just the the three seconds before her death is so unexpected. It's quite entertaining. And that sounds mean. But it's a, it's a comedy. It's meant to be. It's fine. I can say that. And when Cassie goes to the afterlife, she made her kind of temporary guardian angel. Um called Val. She's played by Robin Scott and I love her. The character is fabulous fun and I think she's got a great attitude and a great personality and I could just watch a film all about her uh, and I kind of wish there was one. And of course Cassie's mission is to right several wrongs and improve the lives of people she had maybe not treated the best or had unfinished business with back on earth. One of which of course is her best friend Lisa, and then there's her father and her mother, and a few other characters along the way. And what I really liked about this, is this a spoiler? This is the world's teeniest spoiler, so ignore me if you don't want to hear this. Um, I don't have anything else to say about the film that would probably influence your opinion to watch it. So you can stop listening now if you wish. I will go into a few tiny spoilers. So her best friend, Lisa, is actually able to see her. And I like the fact that there's an explanation for this. They do initially think that it's a fluke and and that maybe Cassie's power is a bit broken as as a training angel or that it could be that her connection with Lisa is just so strong. And I like the fact... No, I can't say that. that, What I was about to say was quite a big spoiler, so I won't say that. But that's something that I was really impressed with. And some of these films do do that. Some of them don't, but this one I think it worked really well because it made it seem like it wasn't just two hours of Cassie having a conversation with herself while following the people from her Earth life around while she was invisible. It gave the film a bit more of a dimension. It allowed us to explore the character of Lisa a bit more and utilise Lisa to assist with Cassie righting her wrongs. And, And that's something that I really thoroughly enjoyed. There's obviously a little bit of tension because it's a race against the clock and you think, well, is she going to do this? Will she actually, you know, complete this mission and be allowed to go up rather than down? And I won't say the outcome, but it's a pretty lighthearted film. As I said, it does get a little bit emotional uh, at certain points. And I will say that if that's the kind of thing that upsets you or if you're going through a bereavement or anything it it might be therapeutic but it will be very emotional as well that's certainly something that's not really avoidable with this but for the most part easy to watch fun entertaining there was nothing 
particular about the actually the soundtrack was really good there were a few songs that really stood out for me me and my memory means that I can't really remember any of them um but the soundtrack I really liked costumes actually the costume there's one costume that I liked Cassie gets one outfit change a day as a as a training angel so that meant that she was going to wear a different costume every day that also helped us to identify what day it was she has as I said she's got a limited number of hours days to get this mission complete and as such when she wears a different outfit we know that time is progressing but she also wears this ridiculously sparkly silver dress and I love it it's a nice film really good film thoroughly enjoyed it it's only got 5.8 out of 10 on IMDb which in itself is a really respectable rating and you know anything over five is is very good for me, I would have given it maybe 6.5, 6.7. I I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you like this kind of film, I definitely say check it out. It's got a lot going for it. And, you know, it's it's one of the few films I've seen this year, given, the, you know, the cinema situation. But it's definitely in the top five, regardless. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. Absolutely recommend it.